hello friends in today's video we will see how to fix the windows form not showing in asp.net project or c sharp web application so i have created a demo web application let's run the application and it is printing hello world close it so when you cl right click on the project solution and try to add a web form in the project now let's search for the web form in the search box and there is no web form in the modules so if you are facing the same issue uh, watch the complete video because we will see how to quickly fix the issue click on the file then click on the new project i will quickly explain why the web form is not showing in the modules so search for asp in the search box asp.net and here you can see asp.net core web application and when you read the description it has mentioned that project templates for creating ASP.NET Core web apps and web APIs for Windows, Linux and Mac. So it has not mentioned uh, anything about the web form. It means that we are missing the ASP.NET web development environment in the Visual Studio installation. Scroll down to the end of the page and then click on the install more tools and features. So after clicking the install more tools or features, it will first check for updates and if your Visual Studio has any updates, it will uh, you will need to first update the Visual Studio. So I have clicked on the update option and my Visual Studio is now updating. It is almost 740 MB file. So I am skipping this part to save your time. okay the visual studio is updated to the latest version and uh, from here is the main part of the video uh, we will install the asp.net web development kit or web development environment so here on this window you can see that i have installed the dotnet desktop development module and when you scroll down the page uh, here i have also installed dotnet core cross platform development but the main package that is required for running the web application is asp.net and web development which is not checked in our uh, setup of visual studio so the simple solution is just check this option in the workloads the asp.net and web development module after checking this click on the modify button on the bottom right corner of the window and after clicking the modify button it will start downloading the required package it is showing me the message to close the project that i am running uh, okay no issue uh, this is a demo project to show you guys the issue that you may be facing while creating the web applications continue the installation and the installation will take almost five to six minutes after the installation is complete we would be able to add the web forms and work with the web form without any issue we will see how to create ASP.NET web applications using web forms and database connections in the upcoming videos of Tech Inspect. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, subscribe to Tech Inspect to receive updates of our new upcoming videos and to support our work. So I am skipping this part to save your time and uh, I will continue after the installation is complete.
welcome back so it almost took 10 minutes and the installation is still going almost completed it will take 10 to 12 minutes for the complete installation depending on your system specifications and internet speed after the installation is completed click on the launch button to open visual studio wait for the visual studio to open okay uh, on this interface click on the create new project as you do for all your new projects then click on the search box and search for asp.net Not that we have no two ASP.NET web applications. The first one has uh, no web forms in the description. And when you read the description of the second ASP.NET web application, you will see that you can create ASP.NET web forms, MVC or web APIs applications. So select the second ASP.NET that has the ASP.NET web forms in the description and after selecting it click on the next button the next steps are the same as you do for all your projects type the project name and click on the create button now you can add web form from here or create an empty project and then we will add the web form using the add web form option in our project let's wait for it to open here is an empty asp.net web app right click on the solution in the solution panel click on add and then add new new item and search for web you can see the first element you can see the first template is web form select the web form and click on the add button so the web form is added you can choose the toolbox switch from source to design mode of the web form and all the functionality of the web form will now work perfectly thank you so much for watching i hope that the issue of web form not showing will be fixed after watching this video and if you are still facing any issue you can comment in the comment section below the video and i will try to answer all of your questions you can comment any type of issue related to the visual studio or microsoft sql server management studio thank you so much for watching and we will meet in the next video with a new topic